Y'all see how my carbon fiber spoiler is the duckbill spoiler from Boost Tech. And uh, it's pretty, getting pretty old. The epoxy on top is starting to chip, starting to fade, starting to do all that type of stuff. So I'm gonna see what I can do today about restoring this thing. Hopefully, hopefully it comes out as good as I think it's gonna come out. And uh, yeah, I hope I can get this thing squared away because I actually do like this spoiler a lot. And so if I can save it, then I definitely want to save it. But first things first, of course, I have to clean the back of the car, the trunk. And uh, I'm just going to wipe it down and stuff before I tape it. And I'm going to show you what I'm about to do with that once I get it all wiped down, cleaned a little bit. I don't have to clean it all the way, but just make sure that, you know, nothing's stuck on the top of the car. I know y'all gonna talk about my little tape job because it is pretty bad but don't worry about that it covers everything up and now I'm about to go ahead and use this a thousand grit sandpaper and wet sand it and get everything to the same finish if you look at it like you could tell there's like a ridge right here and uh I don't want that there anymore for whenever I do ooh, ooh bad right here but uh I don't want that there anymore for whenever I do Put the new clear on there i will be putting the new clear on here to make everything look very good like it did from the factory but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and start wet sanding this and then you'll see the product whenever i'm finished with that So I just dried it off and as you can see it looks all scuffed up and I don't know if you could tell in the video but I was only sanding it uh, horizontally so uh, that's why it came out looking like this but I think this is how it's supposed to look and uh, if it's not supposed to look like this then somebody let me know in the comments. One thing that I noticed is that right here along the edge, let me see if y'all can see that, but uh, it's starting to crack a little bit and like I can't really sand this out. I'm thinking that's just the imperfection from the factory it was made in. But uh, hopefully that's what it is and not something that I did. But uh, also it's not really good that it's there. I don't really like that. But everything else came out real smooth. And uh, whenever I put the clear coat on it, and it happened right here too, uh, same thing. Whenever I put the clear coat on there, everything should be good. All right, so as I wait for the alcohol to dry, uh, it shouldn't take long, by the way. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna look over here, make sure everything is good. Like I said, it's not gonna be perfect, but uh, it's gonna be good enough for me. And uh, I'm looking over it, and this is pretty much what it's supposed to look like. Like this, like I said, it's not dry yet, but you can see the alcohol is pretty much to get all the contaminants off and make sure that it's ready for the clear coat. And so I'm about to add the clear coat now. And uh, the clear coat that I have actually is from AutomotiveTouchUp.com, which I need to be shaking this up. I got this a long time ago. Like, uh, I don't know how, how long ago, but I actually need to be shaking this up for like a minute or two 
and uh, making sure that it's gonna spray good and then I can go ahead and start with the first coat, finally. It didn't turn nighttime just that fast. And uh, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm getting a little tired. And, uh, I've been working on this, really working on getting this tape off for the longest, but it came out pretty nicely. Uh, if you look at it, it looks real glossy. I like that a lot better than it was. But uh, yeah, and no drips on the underside either, so that's always a plus. This from this cheap tape. Do yourself a favor and if you do this, don't cheap out on the tape. Get the blue painter's tape. I ended up getting the white and uh, that's a no bueno. Hopefully all this comes out uh, tomorrow whenever I go to wash the car. Well, I think I'm gonna wait a couple days before I actually wash the car just because I don't want it to mess up the clear coat that I put on there or anything. Give it enough time to harden, sit in the sun, cause it is kinda chilly out here, so it's probably not gonna be cured by the time the morning hits. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down in the section below, let me know if you learned anything or if there's something I should've done different other than like change the tape and got blue tape. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.